Hello, mga kabarkalius! Just want to say thank you to all our 569 subscribers. Welcome to the OTB channel, your education and learning channel. And our topic for today is entitled, How to Pass the Logic Exam with 1 to 5 Questions and Answers as CSR. Customer Service Representative at Call Center. And this is our shining and shimmering topic of today. And mga Regalius, please don't forget to subscribe and be one of our 1,000 subscribers to win the secret prize. This is again Teacher Parrot, your smart teacher of today. Let's have a fun fact trivia first about parrot. Did you know an African gray parrot named Aunt Kissy has a 950 word vocabulary that impressed the famous primatologist Jane Goodall. And Aunt Kissy has seen photos of her and when they met, he asked, got a champ? So let's start now. There are four tests that you should practice for applying as a customer service agent at a call center. 1. Logic exam. 2. Grammar exam. 3. Computer navigation exam. 4. Typing test exam. Number 1. Some boys are sitting in three rows all facing north such as or such that A is the middle row. B is just to the right of A, but in the same row, Q is just behind of B, while R is in the north of A, in which the direction of R is Q. A, south, B, southwest, C, northeast, D, southwest, or I mean southeast. So the answer is letter D, which is southeast. So the explanation for this is in row 1, there is an R, row 2, A, the Q is in the southeast. <clears throat> Let's go to number 2, Ravi left home and cycled 10 kilometers south uh, towards south, then turn right and cycle. After this, he turned left and cycled 10 kilometers. How many kilometers will he have to cycle to reach his home street? A. 10 kilometers B. 15 kilometers C. 20 kilometers D. 25 kilometers The answer is letter B. 15 kilometers since A is 10K B to C is 5K C to D is 10K D to E is 10K so the required distance from A to E is 5 pl plus 10, which is equal to 15 kilometers. So the answer is letter B. Number 3. 1. A3P means A is the mother of B. 2. A4P means A is the brother of P. 3. A9P means A is the husband of P. 4. A5P means A is the daughter of P. Which of the following means that K is the mother-in-law of M? A. M9 N3 K4G B. M9 N5 3 I mean K3 J C. K9 J9 I mean K5 J9 M3 N D. K3 J9 N4 N the answer is letter B, which is M9 and 5K3G, I mean 3J. So it's B because M9 is M is the husband of N. And 5K means N is the daughter of K. Hence, M is the son of in law of K. K3J, K is the mother of J. <clears throat> Hence, K is a lady. Hence, K is the mother-in-law of F. Number four, if P 
P it plus Q means P is brother of Q. P times Q means P is the father of Q and P minus Q means P is the sister of Q. Which of the following relation shows that I is the niece of K? A, K plus Y plus Z minus I. B, K plus Y times I minus Z. C, Z minus I times Y plus K. And letter D, K times Y plus I minus Z. So the answer is letter B, K plus Y times I equals Z. So K plus I means K is the brother of Y. Y times I equals to or means Y is the father of I. Hence, K is the uncle of I. And I minus Z means I is the sister of Z since I is the niece of K. Then the directions for number 5 and 6. In each of the following questions, Two statements are given and the statements are followed by two conclusions numbers 1 and 2. You have to take the given two statements to be true even if they seem to be at variance from commonly known facts. Read the conclusions and then decide which of the given conclusions logically follows from the two given statements regarding commonly known facts. Give answer. A. If only one conclusion follows. B. If only two conclusion follows. C. If either one or two follows. D. If neither one nor two follows. And E. If both one and two follows. Number five statements. All the harm, I mean harmoniums are instruments. All the instruments are flutes in and the conclusions, one, all the flutes are men's. Number two, all the harmoniums are flutes. <clears throat> A, only one conclusion follows. B, only two conclusion follows. C, either two or one, both one and two follows. So the answer is letter B, only two conclusion follows. As you can see in the explanation, there are flutes uh, there is a flutes, instruments, and harmoniums, and only two follows. All right, so I think that's all for our short blog video of the day, and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel, Mga Kabarkelias, and be one of 1,000 subscribers to win the secret surprise. So in John 10, verse 11, Jesus is the good shepherd. So to good, the good shepherd, Jesus Christ, be all the glory, honor, and adoration. It's time to say goodbye now. And if you want to participate, you can go to this link, www.indiabix.com, to test your verbal reasoning. All right, so... Again, this is the online teacher blog. See you next time only here in our channel. Bye. God bless.